Good morning guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, please do subscribe. In today's video, I wanted to um, tell you my thoughts about the 2019 movie called Parasite, which is a Korean movie, and it was um, given very high ratings by a lot of people. But to be honest, I didn't find it to be so fantastic myself. I mean, it's not that I hated it. I rated it three stars on Letterboxd. So, yeah, about that, if you'd like to follow me there, I'll leave the link in the description below. But um, this is what I wrote on there, because I review the movies I watch as well. So I thought that it was a study in pathos, so the characters appeal to emotion to get rid of the old and replace um, the, the workers of the household with themselves. So they are four unemployed people who basically infiltrate a rich home and uh, get a good salary so they manage to crawl out of poverty by deceiving a rich and naive woman and it's honestly not what I was expecting in fact I thought it would be uh, more of a science fiction movie whereby there would be some sort of aliens invading the humans and you know it would go global it would destroy the entire fucking planet but it never actually did it's just people sticking knives into each other here and there, people arguing, fighting over the stupidest of things, you know, people begging for their lives. And it's not even that dramatic, I mean, it's just a, just a bunch of people who think that they are worth more than they actually are. So these people who allow their own heads to grow so large that they start feeling important within society even though they never much contributed anything to it. So, um, the the poor lady of the house, it's she's a very emotional and she's also not a bright character. Uh, she's rather naive or perhaps dull, I suppose. And she is the one who is actually taken most advantage of throughout the movie. Um, yeah, I, I thought that it was crazy how the movie came out right in time for the pandemic back in 2019 and yet it had nothing to do with a virus or an actual parasite or bacteria. It, it uh, just, I'm not sure whether it actually preceded the COVID pandemic or not, but it's quite coincidental if I have to be honest. So it's also a great concept for a movie, but um, once again, it's it's not what I thought it would be, so that perhaps reduced my enjoyment of uh, of the movie overall. So the ending really got to me, but um, the, the family did get what they'd been wanting for a long time, at the expense of so many factors, including, um, spoiler alert, the death of their daughter. So, um, the said piano playing always gets to me, and... It makes me emotional as well, but this movie wasn't really emotional. I mean, I've been watching movies and shows where people stick knives into each other for a long time, so I can't say this really left an impression on me. And I feel as though it was all going well until the basement room was discovered, which is basically the whole um, plot twist, I suppose. And they could have just killed the dwellers as a parasite would, but they didn't. And in fact, in doing so, in not killing the people who were living in the basement, they risked so many other factors and put themselves in danger of getting found out, which uh, they they eventually did, I suppose. Um, it's also, even though the, the conclusion, you know, there are many things which are explained, I st I'd still say that it's quite an open-ended movie, to be honest, so... Um, the hearing at the court went well for them, and the idea with the Morse code message was fantastic, though quite coincidental as well, in my opinion, that the kid picked up on what was going on. So, by the kid I mean the English teacher. So when it's a foreign movie, I don't really put a lot of effort into remembering the names of all the characters, because to me they all sound quite alike, and it's difficult for me to really understand what their names mean or whether they're related with any other word in the same language so I just refer to them in that manner and um, perhaps the the only impact this movie left on me is that I'll never be able to look at a flickering light the same way again since I will now s subconsciously correlate it with Morse code so 
Um, it also feels like it's a movie from way before 2019. I, I never thought that such a movie would be so relatively recent. And um, this movie also taught me that there are ways of escaping a life of poverty and misery by deceiving stupid and rich people. So, um, the last Korean show I watched, so the last Korean sort of media, I watched it was Squid Game and I enjoyed it as well but it was way more violent than this one and I can still say that I appreciate the their culture and their discipline and they seem to be quite systematic people you know even though they might not always manage to form a plan or just you know lead their lives the way opportunities come to them um, but yeah I, I feel as though they are they they follow a certain pattern, you know, and um, they are also quite clever people, so I think the movie would also have been shorter, so in my opinion the movie is way too long for the, the sort of theme it tried to convey, but I think if, if it hadn't rained the night the family went camping, it, the, the entire movie would be much peachier than, than it actually was. And um, I, I was hoping that the relationship between the English teacher and the rich family's daughter would go further, but that never really happened. And considering all the build-up and the tension, there, there really isn't anything which resolved itself by, by the end of the movie, you know? It was a very rushed ending in my opinion, so... Um, let me know what you think about this movie if you've watched it. Uh, please do follow me and my reviews on Letterboxd. And um, let me know whether you'd like me to watch and review any other movies. And I'll do so accordingly. So thank you for watching, for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.